mean, I've enjoyed my time here at Clemson. Um, been a part of a great family, learned so much as a person, as a player. And, uh, and I don't think I'm ready to give that up yet, so I'm here to announce that I will be returning for my senior season here at Clemson University. Somebody can tweet that for my fans. <laughs> <laughs> What were some of the, I guess, main factors that made you want to come back for this last time? Um, it was a, it was a big process going to it. I mean, I had pros and cons for each side, but for me, it came down to my enjoyment here. Um, I love Clemson. I love college football. You know, I feel like I had a, a good enough grade to go out and have an opportunity to go out there and compete. But at the same time, I'm just not. Ready to just you know drop this right now, and uh, I feel like we got a lot of things that we have left on the table here at Clemson. And, uh, hopefully, I'm here to see those things out. So, is this more a personal decision than a business decision? Um, it's a little bit of both. Um, you know, there are some factors that can weigh into me getting better in all aspects. Um, but I think those would have came either way had I decided to stay or leave. But, I mean, uh, personally, I just found it in my heart that uh, I just wanted to enjoy this last season. Was it, a, was it a difficult decision, or did it seem pretty clear-cut to you at some point? Um, I, thought it was, I thought it was pretty clear at first. And then uh, it just started. It's been, it's been way long, you know, for about the past five days. So um, really sat down about it, prayed about it. And uh, I just feel like it's the best decision for me. Ultimately, what was it? Was it the relationships and just being here at Clemson, or was it just the need to just play one more year of college football and, and see how much you can develop? Um, I've developed so much since I've been here, from uh, a personal standpoint to my faith to the player, and I feel like I can continue to develop a little bit more. But at the same time, I'm I'm to the point where. <coughs> You know, when Coach Sweeney came in here, he had this vision, he had this dream as a program. I kind of had the same type of deal, and uh, I feel like we're having the opportunity to create something special here. Uh, we've gotten better each year. I've gotten better as a player each year, and uh, I feel like, uh, you know, the way this offseason is going to work and the way, you know, these players going to be pushed, I feel like it can become that much more special. What you said you? it was clear at first in the past five days. What was clear that you were definitely coming back and then you became clouded, or was it the other way around? It was a little bit the other way around. I had uh, told myself, I was like, I like, you know, I had like a little a list. I said, if I do this against LSU at seven sets, then I'm going, I'm just going to come out. Um, I kind of made it up on early. And the more I thought about it, the more people I talked to. Um, and I got some great counsel, some great advice, got a chance to talk to Dwayne. And uh, it just helped me with my decision, my thought process, and how I measured everything out. It wasn't one of those deals where it was just like flip a coin. It was something that I had to kind of think about. So you were leaning toward going first. Yes, sir. How much did, from the business standpoint, evaluate what the experts say about the quarterback First, they weighed pretty heavily. Um, again, when you hear those type of you know, antics and, and things of those nature, you automatically put yourself in that in that front group. And uh, I mean, the more I thought about it, I mean, I feel like the same opportunities present themselves. But at the same time, I get a chance to do something that I enjoy, that I love, around the people that really care about me. So, um, I mean, I'm just excited to come back. For this. 